Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some more F1 Manager 2023. And we're up for the Spanish Grand Prix today. We've got four million pounds in the bank, which is insane considering. What are we actually doing? We're doing some research on these projects. We can't can we do another one? I didn't think we'd be able to do another one, but we can. Now we've we've gone down the road of of putting some time into individual parts. I just want to have a little look at this because I've never really looked weirdly. I've never really seen this screen in the middle here, which is changing. And this is kind of showing you the the car part expertise um, benefit and reduction here. So I don't think we'll be able to look at these. I did find when I was kind of not that I really understand all of this and putting all of this together. I did find somewhere under here. Where did I find it? I don't know where it was. Rules and regulations, was that it? Um, this. So expected loss, expertise loss, 2.02%, 1.89%, 2.14%. And then we've got all of these losses for the front wing. This is our, our expertise list. How much design expertise your engineering team gained from research last season, so none at the moment, and how much they're going to lose uh, based on the 2024. So at the moment we are, let's just jump back to our cars. Oops, wrong one. Um, we are researching the underfloor. So let's go and have a look at this because this is going to be done in three days. So if we go and find board, uh, what one was it? Rules and regulations, underfloor. Now what we can see from this is obviously um, we're currently losing 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, etc, etc. And we've got no expertise from our research yet. Now, some of these things, I think when we did the work, let's just go to front wing. We did we do some one of these with like expertise? I thought we did, but maybe we didn't. Uh, at the moment, we've got no expertise on any of these. Apparently, uh, I thought we'd have some, but you know, we're, we're going to finish the underfloor. So at the moment, it'll be interesting to see if any of this changes um, based on, on that finishing. Uh, I do think we're going to spend... Are we going to spend some money? I don't know. Should we Should we actually develop a part? When, when this is done, underfloor, should we do some work on, on developing some underfloor and just seeing if it helps us or not? Um, in the meantime, I think we save our money. I think we just pull in the purse strings a little bit because we know that we've got problems here right we're well and truly heading towards being over our price cap our, our cap um i think we're expected to spend 80 million oh hold on maybe i'm maybe i'm getting this wrong hold on so we're expected to be minus 80 so we've got 58 million remaining, but our cap size is 139. Have I been looking at this wrong this whole time? The total money spent has been removed from this season's cost cap. I think we might be okay. I think I might have been getting worried over nothing. I mean, we did spend, a, to be fair, we have spent a lot of money. Um, have we got any, I don't think we've got any, hold on, where's the calendar? Where's the calendar gone? Uh, when do we get our time back for... Over, is it over here? Is this it? Aerodynamic testing period ends. Aero, yeah, so down here, we get some new time. So I think we can afford, I say afford, I think we can afford to do one more project, a research project without any any days on it. What do we, what do we think? Should we do the front wing? We can't put any of this in here, but... We just keep this as as this. I don't know. Maybe we put all of these up and these down. Does that help? I don't really. I don't really know. Maybe we put all of these these up and these down. I mean, it'll go some way to helping with the benefit. Maybe we leave them all in the middle. Let's do that. I don't know. 
Okay, and I think I'm just going to put one engineer on it. It's going to take him 45 days, or we've only got one. We're going to take him 45 days, but I think that helps with the um, with the expertise. I think the longer it helps, you can say more engineers means faster completion, but lower expertise gain. Assigned engineers can't work on anything else. So by having having just one, we get more expertise, I think, because it takes longer. Okay, it's going to cost us 1.6 mil, which I don't really want to spend, but um, let's do it. And I think we just hit continue. I'm going to get through this with a bit of cash in the bank, and we'll see where we end up. Let's go. So our underfloor research has been done. Now we want to go to board. And maybe this doesn't update until, like, it, so often when you see board stuff, it doesn't happen until the end of the month, right? Was it, it was the underfloor. So we're seeing no benefit here. Let's see if that changes like at the end of the month or something. What date is it? Um, the first. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, so we haven't seen any. Oh, there's a little there's a little spotlight on things. Um, this month about the season so far, it could be going better. They've upgraded their CFD simulator. Our drivers have completed some some improvements. Okay. Board confidence. We have medium confidence. I understand that. I'm just letting you know that our monthly finances are in. Okay. Okay. So our projected is to be at 81, and I presume we've got 139. I think the problem is our money down here. Oh, we got a little bit more cash. Look, nice. Nice. Do we want to buy anything for our cars? Because we probably need new engines and stuff. Maybe we'll, let's just try and get to the midway point of the season. I don't know. I don't know how far that is. Uh, I'm not sure where the halfway point is. Is there a point where we have a break? Don't know. Okay. Our training schedule. Can we can we better be better at everything, please? You know what? Let's just be let's just be balanced and try and improve our pit stop time. Thank you. Okay. Good work. And I think we just crack on. I think there's not a lot we can do. We could think about facilities and is there anything we can improve over here? But most of it is really expensive, right? Like if we want to do this is 10 mil. If we want to do this, it's seven and a half mil. There's not a lot here that we can do that really help us. 1.5 mil, that w would be nice, right? Um, Luxury helicopter landing space off of their first class experience. Monthly upkeep. We get 1% extra money per. This gives us more attractiveness and um, more money. Sorry, more morale. If we upgrade this, we get higher weekly income. Do we do this? It's going to take 16 days, but it's going to give us more money, and I think money is our key bit. So let's do that. Okay, we're, we're ready to go. Race prep, fair enough. Okay, race performance and targets. What do we want to do over here? We guarantee that we will reach Q2, right? With one, we've just one car, and we guarantee that we will not have the fastest lap, that we will finish in position. What the heck? Why can I not? I can't. I can't change it. Okay, and then we've got this going on. We're always going to qualify over 15th, right? It's got to be worth a try. Okay, good. 
for the next three races. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, to the race weekend. We've got £6 million in the bank. I do feel like we should spend more of it. Is there anything here we can do? Team hub. 1.5 million. Um, attractiveness and a weekly development for staff and morale. So maybe that's a really good thing. It does cost us more money in the long run. Scouting department, race simulator. Our drivers get more benefit from it. Maybe this is important. Let's do it. Okay, back down to four mil. I feel comfortable with that. Uh, let's go to the... I know I was saying I need to save money, but let's, let's try and just improve our team steadily. Okay. To Spain we go. Uh, who knows how this is... Well, we I think we all know how this is going to go. It's going to be kind of probably a little bit disappointing. But if we can get another point at some point in the next couple of races, I'd be quite content with that in all honesty. Um, but who knows? I'd be really content if we could get another point in the in the next couple of races, actually. Thank you for joining us for the Spanish Grand Prix here in Barcelona. The circuit de Barcelona Catalunya is familiar to every driver, with F1 and Junior Series often racing and testing here. It's a proving ground for aerodynamics, so many new car parts are brought to Barcelona to see how they can handle the track. Long straights and medium speed turns dominate here, but there's something else to watch out for at Barcelona. The air currents are strong and unpredictable, and they'll be giving aerodynamic components a real run for their money this weekend. Red Bull have outscored their rivals to be at the top of the constructors' table right now. But that could still change with so many rounds left ahead of us. So, let the weekend begin. Let the weekend begin. Apologies if this one's going out on a Sunday. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get into this. So we've got no, nothing special going on. It's normal practice and qualifying, which is good news. Uh, we'll obviously do qualifying or practice one off camera like we always do. Let's just tweak these a little bit. Don't like leaving them in the middle. So let's just do something like that. Our run plan will put up to 18. Jobs are good in. Uh, and then over here, we'll do the same thing. But I think we'll do it the other the other way we'll bring it this way because i wasn't listening to what you said about the track okay run plan 18 job done okay we'll put a pause in here and we'll be back after practice one okay bit of bad news we may Lance well have had a crash now, an inviting opportunity there and there the car not a particularly contact. big one now, their confidence will have taken a hit with that let's see let's see if we're okay it's not going the way the team had hoped. Literally, we've done about four laps. Um, are we okay car-wise? So powertrain we knew was damaged anyway, so that's fine. Aerodynamics all good. Rest of the cars are all okay. But yeah, not not great. I I have this feeling that when we're in these sorts of positions, we should bring the cars in, right? Just to to get away from those sorts of things. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll call him in. We'll send him back out in a in a clearer part of the track, and then we'll go from there just click confirm over here we know the cornering is not good but we'll click confirm over here and let's see if we can get them out in a gap where there isn't too much going on perfect okay and then we're gonna go back on pause okay so we are back we're in an okay place we've got uh sergeant down in here in 16th place and we've got uh, alban doing uh about halfway on the on the grid with um with some soft tyres, so not too bad. And our setup isn't horrendous. We've, we've got to send them back out for a bit more, uh, which we'll do now. But it hasn't been too bad for practice session one. No more, no more dodgy parts after, or, or moments after that that little bump. Uh, so we're not too bad. Uh, car setup we're going to keep as is. We're going to go out on mediums. I guess we should just do like, uh, let's do, let's keep it at sixteen laps. Why not? Why not? There we go. Okay, let's go out to practice session two and we'll get this one in the books. You'll have to let me know if you don't want to see these. Uh, just tell me and we'll uh, we'll cut them out. But um, two, one, should be great. You know, from our point of view, it really is just getting this car set up done and you can see we're going out with zero feedback on Sergeant and just the one on Albon. So, oh no. Something's not right. Yeah, we know. Uh, we know yeah, about that. 
There's a lot that's not right with our car in our practice and, and uh, set up. Verstappen has just gone flying past Sergeant. Fair enough. Now one's being caught by De Vries, I think. Music's getting really tense. Maybe I should bring them in. Um, four or five feedback. Oh, our car's on fire. Alban, what are you doing? Literally, the car is on fire. Alex Albon's involved in that. It was the Williams driver we see there. Tries to get by. What the heck? And not just one car involved in that, as you can see. We're on and fire. Their confidence will have taken a knock. Holy crap. And look at the team there. They all knew what that moment meant. We know, might not have enough parts for our car. Fierce. You're not injured. You get out of the car, mate, if I was you. Contact at turn one. Oh. Now this was at turn one. Yeah, we saw it. And oh, oh, there's contact with the barrier. Well, they may have been keen to leave their mark, but I think that was a little too literal. All right, there's nothing to be like that, is there? Now what do we do? Well, we are out, well and truly out. For goodness sake. Oh, well, we'll focus on the one car then. Time penalty collision cause that better be to whichever whatever Tari it was was it an Alpha Tari I think it yeah Devry this is the problem right we go out and practice I feel like I genuinely feel like we're better off as soon as we get kind of within overtaking distance of someone just bringing them in and going back out in, a, in an open part of the track because I'd like to say our drivers I don't think that was our fault but our drivers cannot be trusted We haven't got all the feedback we wanted. How are our tyres looking? Let's get back out there and do another lap. In this clear open part of the track. Look at it. Look how nice it is. Okay. Feedback on limitation. We were, we were one lap short. Can you believe it? Okay. In you come. What we got? We're almost there, right? We are almost there. If we can just tweak that bottom one without changing too much. Maybe go with that. See how we look. Let's put you on some softs. And we'll change the run plan down to like 10, maybe 11, 12. Okay. Can't believe we're, we're going to have a written off car again. We're going to have to do a load of work on it. It was on fire. I can't be good news, right? And we already knew the engine was... I mean, the only plus point is that all of our, our car was falling apart anyway, right? So... Um, that was the, That's the only plus point. That our car was already in serious trouble, so the parts that we're losing other than the aerodynamics were, were pretty poor anyway. It would be interesting to know how much of an impact these sorts of things, the gearbox and all the rest of those things have on your car. You know, is it like a 10% a difference or a 40% difference in terms of of that? I mean, we still we seem to be doing fairly quick laps in comparison. We had some 116s in here. You know, so we seem to be doing reasonable laps in comparison to everybody else. I know everyone else is on different tyres, but... Can 
we just send you back out? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, overtake us. Thank you. Our tyres at 47%. We're three or five feedback. Are we going to get the full feedback or not? Going to get maybe one more lap in? Feedback off tyres. Yeah, we know they're crap, but... Tires are gone. Copy that. Don't crash. Right, okay. Don't care. Get in. Car's good. Understood. Don't crash. Thank you. Okay, session done. On. Session done. Boxing, okay, not a great one, that. Not a great one. Freeze does get a penalty, so that's good, at least good news. Um, Setup satisfaction, 96%. Nice. And we're into qualifying three. What? Oh, God. Oh my lord. We've hardly got any suspension left. We're on the crappy one. I don't think we've done any work on these really. But yeah, it'd be nice to have this one. Oh well. Another engine gone. Good. Keep on this crappy RS. Lovely. How are you getting through these gearboxes so damn quickly? Okay, fine. Do we go on mediums or do we just go on... So I guess we go on mediums. We're never going to use two mediums in a race, right? Well, we might do, but I doubt it. That's fine. Um, let's go. Let's go and do this one. We might find that we're only out for a little bit, and then we, uh, then we come back in. Should be green now. What's your feeling? Optimal. Really nice. happy with it. Copy. We'll call you in and have a little look, but really, with Sergeant, we're just getting his driving. Uh, or knowledge of the, the track up. I think we're done here, right? You're all good. I think we're done. So we could get track knowledge up. Your track knowledge is like... 20% or whatever it is. We'll just get you out there to do a few laps, see if we can get that up a little bit, because 20% is not going to cut it. Or 30%. Sergeant's locked up, great. I'm calling you in. The fact that there's loads of cars around you, and I might call you in as well. 30%. That's where I, I can't risk another car being written off. That's where we leave it. I'm going to put a pause in here. We'll be back at the end of this for uh, for qualifying. Okay, we are back after another practice session done. We didn't really go back out. We went out for a, little, a couple more laps just to see if we can get that up when it was quite quiet. But uh, nothing major there. We are good to go. Confidence is middling, I would say. Okay, and now we're into qualifying. We Let's need to to change all of our car parts. It's time for qualifying. There are three periods of qualifying ahead of the drivers now. Remember, only the fastest ten will make it through to Q3 for a shot at pole position. Now, Karun, you and I were actually just talking about that man there, Max Verstappen. 
How do you think he'll be feeling today? They set a great lap in practice, so you can only imagine how good they're feeling going into qualifying. But the big question is, will they be able to keep this performance up? Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. Well, well, well. We need to get all of our crappy parts out and put our best parts in. A whopping improvement of 10% on the engine. Giddy RS is in. And the, the best gearbox we've got, even though so many... Maybe we can recycle them. Um, okay, and this one, same thing. Let's go to the 71% engine. The 52% ERS. And the 69% gearbox. Nice. Okay, we're good to go, right? We're just going straight to qualifying. Here we go. We did say we'd get through the first qualifying, so we need to to obviously do that. Um, I haven't looked at the weather or anything. I'm assuming we're all good. Yeah, we're fine. I think we send you out instantly. Off you go. And we'll send you out a little way behind it. Behind him. See if we can get some... See if we can get some laps in without too much traffic. I mean, to be fair, they give traffic after this one, right? But let's, let's see how we go. Okay, let's do the let's do the view. Plenty of space ahead. Just go push. Okay, there is our there is our lap, a 115.1. Don't know if that's good or bad. Sergeant, how you doing? A 115.065, love that. Love that. In you come, boys. I mean, we're, we're well and truly slower than Perez. Ouch. I thought our lap was pretty good. I mean, I guess technically it is right for us, but. Let's see how the rest of the, the lot do. Okay, we're not looking too bad. We're in front of the cars we'd expect to be in front of, at least. Okay, not horrendous. And we're good to go. Let's see when everyone starts heading out. Okay, we're in the middle of the pack. We'll stay on board with Sergeant for his flying lap. And we'll do the... Uh, so I think we'll be clear. We'll do the normal view, shall we? No, we'll look at that one. We'll look at that one in the, uh, in the actual race. Let's go with this. Come on, Sergeant. Let's get the old sectors up so we can see if we're good or bad. Alvin's gone green, love that. Come on, Sergeant, we're looking for a green here. Got a yellow for, yellow for Alban. 
keep changing his name. <laughs> Come on, Sergeant. We got yellow for Sergeant as well, disappointingly. Sonoda is, is flying at the bottom there. Well, I say flying. He could have done a really slow lap, so it's always going to be green, but he is bottom currently. Last green for Alban. Doesn't make any progress. Looks like we're going to be okay. Magnuson doesn't improve. Sergeant doesn't improve. And Norris is coming around now. Norris and Piastri. Norris doesn't improve. Piastri's looking pretty average in the middle there. He's gone green in the middle. I mean, we're fine, right? We've done it. Love that. Let's speed this up because, I mean, it's not going to make any difference. There goes Piastri across the line. No improvement for, for him. Okay, we may we both make it to the next session, which is nice. A little bit worried about our tires and what compounds we've got. We've got two for the actual race. I think we put you out on these ones, right? Okay, here we go. Get away, stroll. Okay, we'll get this lap done. Hopefully no cars pull out of the pits. Oh no, Sergeant's gonna get held up. Oh no, no. You okay? Oh, good. No. Oh, look, we continued. We, we carried on going. We're fine, right? I mean, that was our fault. Poor old Perez. Just drove into him. Red flag. Okay. Neither of your drivers has retired from the race. Well, that's nice to hear. What does that mean for us? We'll go out on these tyres again. I guess we can go out on... No, let's go out on these ones again. Um, anything need replacing? Are we okay? I think we're okay. There you go, buddy. Here we go again. Driver confidence is very low. Oh, no. It was all going so well. So focus on your tyres and brakes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh no, there's going to be traffic on the road. We should be okay. Sergeant's got to overtake Gasly though. Currently P1. Yes, we're P1. I mean, cool. it's not going to last. Can. We're far slower than we were before. Okay, Sergeant went quicker. Currently P1. And then we're boxing. Yeah, I understand. Okay, we want to change your tyres. Do we go with these ones? I guess so. Wonder if we should have kept two sets for the for the race, but I mean, there's no way we're finishing anywhere close to.
Then off we go. We're looking for the sectors. We've got to get past whoever this is. Ooh. Eeked past them. Sergeant has not gone quicker. Alvin's gone quicker in the middle. So has Sergeant. I was going to say, it doesn't really matter. There's no way we're getting out of this. Yeah. Here comes Sergeant. Ooh, P11. We'll take that. It's not horrendous. Yeah, P11. Okay, good lap. I'm boxing this lap. Sorry. P12. Okay. And we'd have taken it, right? And you got a penalty. We've got a penalty. Oh, good. Good, good. <laughs> okay. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Barcelona is a circuit with plenty of history under its belt. It was here, after all, that multiple world champion Max Verstappen secured his very first F1 victory back in 2016. Now, Karun, based on what we've seen of Max Verstappen this weekend, how do you think he's going to be feeling today? They've done really well to get pole position. I mean, what a tremendous chance they've got here today. And there are going to be some tough calls to make in Catalonia today. So let's see who makes the best ones for the Spanish Grand Prix. Okay, I can pr probably assure you it won't be us making the best choices. You're down three places to 14th. Ouch. Okay. Well, that is disappointing. Let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, we're staying dry from the looks of things based on our weather forecast. Uh, we we don't have two sets of softs, right? Oh, we do have two sets of softs. Okay. Do we go soft, medium, soft? I do like I do like a, a push in the middle and at the end. Let's have a look at how that. What is this? That clearly isn't going to work, is it? What is that all about? I mean, the hards barely get us there. I don't suppose we've got two sets of um, of mediums. I think we've only got the one. Okay. So what if we went medium? Hard softs. How does that feel? Still pushing it right to the end, look. But maybe that's the strategy. I don't know. Feel like if we're going to do this, we need to push this one extra lap out. I don't know. It'd be nice to know what kind of the drop-off between that and that doesn't appear to be anything. Okay. I think we might go with that. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with you. There's just no way, right? Uh, 
Even that is pushing it. What if we had a really quick stint in the middle and then went to mediums? Does that help us? Don't know if it does. I still feel like the other way around is the better option, right? I always feel like ending on softs is your best choice. Are they the same laps, though, as... What have we got? So we've got 30, 20, 21, 5, 6, 7, and 48-ish. They're kind of exactly the same strategy apart from the hards and the softs, but it's worth a try, right? I don't think we want to push our tires really based on what we're seeing but we do want to push our fuel and that okay i think that's what we go with i don't see how other than softs at the start for him because we're higher up the thing i'm going with this let's do it probably the wrong choice but who knows The stage is set here in Barcelona as we get ready for 66 laps of the Spanish Grand Prix. There's a chance for Esteban Ocon to show what he can do here. Fighting for points is definitely possible from P8. The team just needs to get their strategy right. And the time has come. Let's go racing. Here we go, everybody. One of the oldest races on the Formula One calendar. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Here we go, everybody. Oh, there is a Aston Martin that's just absolutely blitzed down the middle there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew it was going to happen, right? All good. Bloody debris again. You okay? Yep. We're both our cars in that. So here we go, heading into turn one. You can see how tight it is. Oh, that's quite an impact between them. And they'll have to pick themselves up after that. What the hell happened? Not entirely Sergeant sure is happened, out. But it seems like it was Logan Sargent. Here's the replay. Now this is Logan Sargent. How did a Alfa Romeo get in front of us? They just drive into the side of us. Coming together right there. Got minor damage to both that and the front wing. Well, it's just you out there, buddy. More repairs for a car, great. We probably want to keep an eye on our lap times, right? You will have energy when you need it. Do we do we need to do anything on this? I guess not. I think we just accept that's the case, right? Bottas pitted. They've gone in to change their parts. I wonder if they had more than minor damage. That's the thing. Doesn't look like it. They got damage to their rear wing quite, quite a hefty chunk. And they got quite a lot of damage to their front wing. Oh, and they're changing the front. Did they change their rear wing? Is that a hole? Is that not a hole in the back of the rear wing? But they changed the front? What the heck? Oh, is it? Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we could have potentially got in, changed it and got back in the queue. 
but I don't know how minor damage minor damage is, you know. Doesn't look particularly bad, but again, I don't know. I mean, that, that's the kind of thing that you could really do with your engineers saying, you've got damage to your minor wing, we think it will cost you X. Because then you can make a decision, right? If they come back and say it's going to cost you four seconds a lap, you don't need to change it. What tyres are people on here? Okay, well, look, since we're behind the safety car, let's keep going. I guess this could be interesting for strategies as well, right? Since the first five laps of this, of this race have been under the safety car. And they've managed to catch up without their broken, well, maybe still got a broken rear wing. Maybe they didn't have any spare parts, I guess, a bit like us. Maybe they're running it close to the close to the wire I mean looking at that front wing I can't see any damage to it make sure we get a good restart it'll be racing from the controller Just want to check that the other Alfa Romeo doesn't have a huge hole in the back of their rear wing, which which they don't, surprisingly. Okay. There's not many here at the Grand Prix this year. There's hardly any seats sold. Okay. Looks like it's kind of settled into a bit of a routine. I'm surprised that Alpha isn't a little slower, considering. I think from our point of view, there's not a lot we can do, right? I think we just get into this. Let's speed this up. We've been caught, I think, by the Alpha. Maybe not. We're at the bottom of the pack, don't worry. Focus on bringing the pack back up. Let's keep going. We are overtaking Piastri. That's nice. Is it DRS? I didn't see DRS pop up saying it was on, but... Three. It's certainly inviting. No, I think we're. I think we're just pushing. And Alex Albon completes the move. Does he? It didn't look like we completed the move. You've got energy. Okay, copy. He's a buddy. He is all over us. Yes, copy. Gunning for Joe, come on. Oh, 
Are we closing the gap? That's the question. Looks like it is coming down slowly. And now we should have DRS. No energy. Yes. But we are there. We're on his tails. Come on. Battle against Joe, love it. Trying to make it down the inside. I think we're going to make it work. They are on soft tyres. Oh, for goodness sake. What are you doing? Now, this was at turn one. Surely you saw me close. there. This is the same race. This is the same accident from before. What are you doing? We've got a yellow flag here. You must have seen me there, look. So here we go, heading into turn one. Just turns Barely into me. I think. And you can see how the... Who got a penalty? Oh, good. Damage to the side pods. Yay. Okay. Joe did get a penalty for that. Are we now even... Who we... The Vri is, is overtaking us, or... We've got up to, I'm not sure. Ridiculous. This... Forward for now. Oh, are we now this much slower? I mean, now we've got Piastri right up our backside. Use energy. Got it. Need to get this gap down, right? Need to get this gap down. Not going to happen. Or need to get this gap up. Because now he's about to put that on and go flying towards us. Probably drive into us, I would imagine. Okay, I mean, it's not been a great weekend so far, right? It's not been a fantastic weekend. Tires. What the hell do we do? What do we do now? Look at the state of our tires. I presume that was after being hit. Oh, for goodness sake. This weekend just goes from bad to worse, right? Okay. I mean, that might get us there. If we push it this way a little bit. Do we go the other way? That's the question. Is that better? Are we going to get that far? I don't know if we are. We should get there, and then maybe there. That's pushing it right to the absolute limit, right? And that's gambling on us getting to that far. I don't know if we will. I 
Let's just swap these around again. So if you were soft and you went on literally that lap, and then you were hards, and you went on there, oh, so close to the wire, right? Okay, um, good, good, good. This really sucks. Oh, I probably should have looked to see if we were changing anything else, right? We change it seven and a half seconds to change. I think we just stick with it, right? No more energy. Yeah. We are going to be Focus lapped sometime up. soon. Yep. I was going to say, although the lead is need to come in for pits, so maybe not. Charge is good. Yeah, copy. Sonoda seems to be getting further away from us. And we're about to... Oh, not DeVry again. No. Okay, he's overtaking us. Is he on softs or something? Yeah. We're about to be lapped. Oh. What happened now? Crash ahead, crash ahead, crash ahead. Potential debris, right hand side exit. Is that Verstappen? Another car is retired. At this rate, we might be in the points. If more of them keep going. Verstappen's got a penalty. Joe is out. And Hulkenberg is out. Oh, oh hold on. Completely forgot about the fuel. <laughs> Hopefully we can bring that back down. Who knows? We are behind a safety car, so we should be okay. Bottas and Energy's good. Yep, copy. Energy if you need it. Okay. This has not gone well. This has not gone well at all. Six seconds behind Bottas. Oh, man. That 
lapped by the car in second place. About to be lapped by the car in third place. Charge is good. Yes, copy. Energy is available. Yep, copy. No energy. Okay. Eight seconds, ten seconds behind Sonoda. Yeah, I went off I went wide there. Oh, for God's sake, man. Back in the rhythm. Oh, DeVries is about to overtake us again. No more overtaking. Yes, copy. We're almost at pit line, pit territory. Is it going to tell us? Okay, what are we going to? Softs. Great. Okay, deployment should be good. Copy. Great, shame I can't. Great, shame I can't put it on. Use energy. Okay, what have we got going on tyre wise? Hopefully we can close some of the gap, right? 27 seconds to Bottas, but he is in the pits. Out of the pits. 25 seconds to Bottas. Doesn't feel likely, right? Especially considering our tyres are going to be right on the edge by the end of this race. At the very least, hopefully, we can put enough distance between us and Piastri that we don't have to worry about DRS. Is Bottas on softs? He must be, right? Yeah. So that gap isn't going to close. I guess the question is, is this gap closing? Not really. So I guess the question is, is this gap closing to Magnussen? Not really. <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is us for the rest of the race. We just need to keep an eye on the fuel. No more energy. Keep yeah, harvesting sure. and deploying, but we need to focus on the energy now. Yes, okay. Okay, we're not closing the gap. Charge is good. Copy. Ten laps to go. What have we got going on? The gap is getting smaller to debris. But no more energy for now. our tyres are also Copy. getting a little worn. 17 seconds to debris. Is that gap going to close enough? No, because we've got loads of cars that need to lap him. So even if it got a small enough. Yeah, it's getting bigger again now. You've got energy? Yep, copy. 18 seconds, four laps to go, not coming down enough, right? No more overtake. Jeez. Okay. We'll be overtaken again. Well, I have to say this was a disappointment. Today's winner. This was a real disappointment.
The thing, the thing is, the worst thing out of all of that is I'm not sure any of those accidents were our fault. We didn't get a penalty for any of them. Um, not great. And the scary thing is how how bad is our car going to be for the next one? Okay. We don't pick up any points, Shock Horror. We were not on anywhere in the fastest pit stops, Shock Horror. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, we do get three million buckaroonies, which is nice. Uh, and I think we're going to wrap up here. Let's just have a look at what's happening. You've gone up in, in uh, performance. That's nice. Uh, let's have a little look at the cars then, shall we? We don't have a chassis. We don't have a chassis. If we do this, it will cost us 8.8 .8 mil. I guess we emergency make one and hope we don't crash. Then we... Make another two, normal speed. That should be fine, right? We just have to realize that we're we're risking not making it anywhere with these with these cars. So I, what I don't understand does this mean we've got zero in the warehouse and two installed? So we need more real. We need more front wings. Just jump over to car one. You don't need a new front wing. Side pods. Okay, so you're back. You're missing suspension. So if we go to our warehouse, I always find it a little bit difficult to tell what we've got. So we've got two, but they're... We've got two on the cars and two installed. What does this tell me? So that indicates to me that we've got two in the warehouse. But if I go to this, this indicates to me that we've got none in the warehouse. So does that mean that means they're installed, right? Installed on both cars. So that's one each on there in warehouse zero. So we've got those coming in warehouse zero. Have we got any front wings coming? I bet we haven't. Nope. And we can't work on any right now. God damn it. Okay, four days until we can make some new ones. Look at the state of that, boys. Let's just get, I want to get to there. So we've got, um, I've just been informed that we could bring the upgrading deadline forward for the team hub by paying the developer, the dealer to certain materials. Uh, no, thanks. We don't want to do that. We've got five mil in the bank. Um, when we look at our calendar, we've got some manufacturing happening there. That's fine. I just want to get to that point and then we'll put a cut in because I don't want to, um, I don't want to forget to build some new front wings. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Um, what are we doing in terms of development? We've got three projects ongoing. We could add another one, right? Might not do much, but we could add another one. I 
I don't know if this helps or not. What if we were to actually build a part rather than that? What if we were to actually design something? What if it was the underfloor? Do we get a bonus from having the work in it? Yeah, I think so. I think we're getting a bonus from having expertise in it. That's without any... So that would take 31 days to work, 1.45 million pounds. We need new suspension, right? We know that. Is it worth the risk? Not the risk, I mean the money. We do get slower here, but... So it'd be likely be here. Top speed isn't that important, but we are going to get one better at acceleration. Budapest. Bar. I mean, maybe it's worth doing, looking at the races coming up. Probably worth the risk, right? I think. Not great for the for the Americas circuits. If we don't do underfloor, we haven't researched any other projects, right? These are still ongoing. When are they due to be finished? Hold on. Twelve days. 24 days, etc, etc. Maybe we do. Although doing the work without putting in the extra for this seems a bit silly to me. If it was balanced, what difference does that make? Not a lot. Well, that was the underfloor. We were doing the underfloor, right? What if we got rid of drag reduction? sure this is really making much difference and if we brought this down See there. Maybe that. Maybe that's the key, right? A little bit of improvement here. We'll go down one here, but everything else goes up. You know what? Fine. 
Let's do it. 31 days. 1.4 mil. Fine. We're down to 2 mil. That's fine. Uh, we can do that. We're going to leave it here. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, yeah, we, we appreciate we've got no front wings. Um, why are you telling us that twice? And yeah, we appreciate we're in we're in a bit of a dodgy, dodgy place. Let's just have a check of our suspension. Now we've got in the warehouse, how many? Two. Okay. I guess that's going to have to, that's going to have to do. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.